Uh, first, we're excited to be here. Congratulations to all the teams that are here in Ames. Um, you know, I know we're all, it takes a lot of work to get to this point, and, um, and you know, we're thrilled to be here and be in a place that we're familiar with. We played here last year and have a sense of what it's like to play in Hilton Coliseum and uh, feel good about our, how we've been playing. Uh, certainly feel like there's more work to do and um, had a good week preparing for, for Florida. Uh, you know, I, I think the girls are ready after a long bus ride. They're ready to get kind of a sweat going and then get some sleep and, um, I don't know, get ready for the match tomorrow. It's kind of where we're at. For either of the players, you guys have won five in a row, I think, eight out of your last nine. Do you guys think you're playing your best volleyball this season right now? Um, I do. I think we're getting more consistent, and we're definitely improving each week. We've had some of the best practices this in the last stretch. Um, so I think, yeah. What is it that you think you're doing now that maybe you weren't doing a month ago, not even two months ago? Um, there's just a lot more focus, um, a lot more intent to take care of the little things. And then, like I said, we're more consistent defensively. We're, we're solid, and same with the offense. What do you think, once again, for either of you guys, what's, what's the key to Florida? What do you guys have to do to stop them? Um, I think just focus on us and play our game and our style. I mean, we haven't really looked at that man at all, so we don't know anything about them. <laughs> yeah. The, the players haven't. It's the staff. We have some idea, but we'll go over that later today. <laughs> for you guys, having already played here, do you think that's an advantage for you guys? I mean, it's a neutral court for virtually everybody, at least having some familiarity with it. Um, I'm not sure if that, that really plays a factor. I think it's pretty neutral for both teams, really. I can't um, hear without the mic. How is the <laughs> the tough conference of the Big Ten? How has that prepared you to take on Florida? Um, I mean, there's a lot of really great teams in the Big Ten, so every game that we've played has been a battle, and that's what we're expecting out of this match. So, yeah, I think it gives us confidence in the postseason too. We've been in tough situations, you know, when when a set's 23-23, we can trust that we pulled it out against a really good team in conference or we've gone in a hostile environment. Um, and so I think it's just something to fall back on that's prepared us. You guys, making the Sweet 16 kind of become common for you guys, or if not, getting farther. What's been the key the last few years for you guys to get the program to have a level of success like you've had? Um, <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's just an expectation now. Um, obviously, Kevin's recruited great, but um, we just develop hard workers and um, just people who really want to play volleyball and um, be are comfortable with our system and how we play it. And I think that's what makes us special. Kevin, as the one who's looked at Florida a little bit, what stands out about him? Athletic, and um, they they know how they want to play. They have a you know a distinct system that they play, and they pass well, and they get their to their middles. And um, I think they're very well coached. They they do some things that are gonna um, I don't know that we're gonna have to have answers to. And I think we're still working through that as a staff. And some of them have to work through as the match goes on to see how we respond. But um, I just you know they're they're a well coached team that knows how to play. I mean it, it's that's what you expect at this time of year bring up coach, the coach Mary, what stands out to you about her and her teams and kind of what she does with her system? When I mean, they play efficient volleyball and they, they always are very offensive. I know we played them in 11 and they were extremely offensive team and you know so if you got you to come ready to defend and ready to, to slow them down. If you don't they can get loose and they can really get going and they've always had some really athletic middles that they've learned how to use and or they know how to use, and they've all, every time we've played them or seen them, they have a great opposite. And you know, when you have good middles and an opposite that puts a lot of pressure on your team to defend. And you don't see a ton of teams that have that combination. As the players, I'll ask you: Do you think you guys are playing your best volleyball now? I think we've played the best volleyball so far. Yeah, I think there's still work to be done for us, of course. And I think some of us going to have to come through competition. But you just get better as the competition goes on. But I think the, the Big Ten has prepared us to show up every night and compete in. Uh, has presented most of the problems that we'll face in, in the tournament. And so uh, the kids have been committed. They've been had a, a growth mindset the whole year. And um, 
you know, I think they're, they're not done trying to be better, and we hope we have more time. You know, I hope we get another match to get better after this one. What do you think your team does best, or what's your biggest strength? I think we hang our hat on defense, you know, serving, serving defense. And uh, it's, you have to, I feel like, in our league. Our league is very defensive minded. And um, I, I think, you know, we, we're physical and we try to take advantage of that on the defensive end. Of course, we want to offensively. I think that's when Liz talks about, are we, and you ask, are we getting better? I think that's where we've started to make our, the most progress is offensively. We started to kind of come into form. But we're always going to be a defensive minded team and want to grind out points. and not afraid to get in a defensive battle. All right. Thanks for joining us, and good luck tomorrow. Thanks, guys.